President Trump is looking to force another vacancy, and this time he wants the director of the Secret Service out. We have our Caitlin Collins at the White House. Let's go back to her. She's there on the North Lawn. Uh, this breaking just now. Tell us about uh, about this, that the Secret Service director is going to be is being removed from his position, according to multiple sources. That's right, Brianna. One day after the Homeland Security Secretary was forced to resign from her position, we are now learning that the Secret Service Director Randolph Tex Alice is also being removed from his position. Now, President Trump has instructed his chief of staff, Mick Mulvaney, to fire Alice, but he still remains in this position. But we're told that while he's still there, though, he is being he is on the way out, Brianna, and they have asked him to leave the to leave the Secret Service. Now, an, an official told CNN, "quote There is a near systematic purge happening." at the nation's second largest national security agency because, of course, you can't ignore that this is coming. The news of this is coming just one day after Kirsten Nielsen walked into the White House yesterday, sat down with President Trump for about half an hour, and he demanded her resignation as he's grown frustrated with immigration numbers in recent days. This also comes, as we're being told by several other sources, that Stephen Miller, who was chief in, uh, in critical in pushing out Nielsen, also wants several other DHS officials to leave DHS as well. Of of course, Brianna, you know, Secret Service falls under DHS. So this is, of course, under uh, Nielsen's purview as she's still there leading the agency until Wednesday. But we are being told that now the Secret Service director is going to be removed from his position. And we don't know at this point uh, exactly what has prompted this firing, Caitlin. Uh, but if you're if you can check in with your sources, I want to bring in right now for analysis CNN law enforcement analyst and former Secret Service agent Jonathan Wackro. He's joining me by phone. Uh, what do you make of this? That this is someone who does report to the ousted Homeland Security uh, Secretary. But what does this mean to you that the director of the Secret Service is being kicked out? Well. <laughs> What this is, is it, it's actually you know, following a pattern here. I mean, um, everyone who was associated with you know, the then chief of staff, uh, uh, General Kelly, including uh, the outgoing uh, DHS secretary and now uh, Director Ailes, I mean, there seems to be a, just a, a, a pattern here of cleaning house anyone that was associated with um, uh, General Kelly at that, at that point in time. In terms of you know the strategy for the Secret Service, if for this to happen now, is probably the, the in terms of timing the best that it could possibly happen. We're in we're just prior to kicking off the the 2020 campaign, uh, presidential campaign. So having a new uh, fresh look at um, you know, leading the Secret Service in terms of timing, this is probably the best timing as you know, possible. The director has been in position uh, for just about two years, but it's actually he's failed to uh, move the needle in terms of a lot of the reputational issues that the service has had in the past. A lot of the managerial issues. Um, so this is this is a, I think an appropriate call by the president to make at this time. And there's also this issue of someone illegally entering Mar-a-Lago, right? They didn't get through, obviously, sort of to the inner ring of security. But this was a woman who was carrying Chinese passports, phones. She had a flash drive that contained malware. Mm -hmm. Do you see that playing into any of this or no? You know, uh, I, I think it's it, it's tangential to the overall issue that that's plagued the Secret Service for a long time, which is you know the, the the appropriate level of governance and oversight that came from the senior leadership that's pushed down into uh, you know the operational execution for the service. Um, again, listen, it, the, the the Secret Service has has some some longstanding problems around people, process, and technology. They fail to you know uh, have a solid strategy on how to address the the very dynamic threat environment that the president faces uh, by executing and, and encouraging uh, you know, uh, the budget the expansion, the expansion of technology. How do they keep pace with these these growing uh, you know, global threats? Um, so I think that you know the, the director was the first outside uh, leadership choice for for the service in its uh, you know, well over 150 year uh, legacy, and there was a lot of hope that was built around that a new fresh set of thinking would be yeah. brought in uh, in management for the Secret Service. And obviously, you know, we haven't seen the needle move at all uh, during his tenure. And I think that this was an appropriate time as the, the direction is changing at DHS, you know, uh, changing the direction of some of the components, you know, just falls in line with that. All right, Jonathan Wackrow, former Secret Service agent, thank you so much.